It's not something you're going to want to miss. We've got a collection of about 25,000 works of art, and that's everything from you know, really cutting edge contemporary works, works from the 20th century. Um, we've got works from all over the world. We've got an incredible global collection, as well as these Native American works that you see behind me uh, from right here in the Pacific Northwest. I want to see what, what's the art that came from this land where we're standing right now. We have a beautiful painting by Albert Bierstadt that is also a really popular stop of people come um, to the museum because it's a depiction of the Puget Sound region, untouched by Western human hands. Um, and it's his kind of vision of the majesty of this area. You know, our annual calendar is full of not only our permanent collections, but special exhibitions that we've organized or that are coming from other institutions. And one of the most exciting that's coming up really soon, opening in the middle of May, is called Kurt. And it's an exhibition of works of art inspired by the life of Kurt Cobain and by the art of Kurt Cobain. What do people in Seattle look at? What do they get to see? It helps you get to know the, the, the people of that city a little bit better. So the Seattle Art Museum, Seattle Asian Art Museum, and the Olympic Sculpture Park are all really great places to come. Get to know Seattle, see it in a different light, and hopefully get a little inspiration as well during your trip. About a block and a half from Pike Place Market, which is certainly on everyone's radar when they're coming to visit Seattle. So it's a great day to mix the Pike Place Market. You can walk right over to Seattle Art Museum. We're kind of right smack dab in the middle of it all.